एच सी वर्मा चैप्टर टेन क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी सेवन द डिसेंडिंग पुलिस सोन इन फिगर हैज अ रेडियस ऑफ ट्वेंटी सेंटीमीटर एंड मूवमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया जीरो पॉइंट टू के जी मीटर स्क्वायर द फिक्स पुल इज लाइट एंड द होरिजेंटल प्लेन फ्रिक्शनलेस फाइंड द एक्सलेशन ऑफ द ब्लॉक इफ इट्स मास इज वन के जी सिंस द पुल हियर इज नॉट मासलेस इट नीड सम टॉक टू रोटेट दिस टॉक मस्ट बी प्रोवाइडेड बाई द टेंशन इन द स्ट्रिंग अराउंड इट देर फॉर द टेंशन इन द स्ट्रिंग इज नॉट सेम ऑन द बोथ साइड ऑफ द पुल Let us assume that the tension in the part of the string on the left side of the pulley is T1 and in the part on the right side of the pulley is T2. Also, let us assume that the pulley rotates with an angular acceleration alpha. Since the pulley is not slipping, it will descend by the exactly same amount it rolls on the string. Therefore, its linear acceleration is alpha into r. Now, the acceleration of the block on the horizontal surface has to be twice the acceleration of the pulley. Therefore, the acceleration of the block is 2 alpha r. If you want to know in detail how we arrive at this relation between the acceleration of the block and the pulley, watch the solution to question number thirty-four of chapter five. Link for the video is shown on the screen and given in the descriptions below. Now let us draw the free body diagram of the pulley. If we denote its mass by capital M, then gravitational force of capital M G is acting on the center of mass of the pulley. The pulley is being pulled by tension T one in the string on the left and tension T two in the string on the right. it is rotating with angular acceleration alpha since pulley is not slipping on the string we can say that it is rolling on the string and therefore the point of contact between the string on the right and the pulley can be considered as the axis of rotation if we take talk about this point then the torque due to t2 is zero as it is passing through the point of contact torque due to gravity is capital m into gr in anti clockwise direction and torque due to t1 is 2t1 r in clockwise direction as its line of action is at distance 2r from this point now net torque must be equal to moment of inertia into angular acceleration therefore capital mgr minus 2t1 r is equal to i into alpha the moment of inertia of pulley about our axis is 3 by 2 capital mr square putting the value we get capital mg minus 2t1 r is equal to 3 by 2 capital mr square alpha or capital mg minus 2t1 is equal to 3 by 2 capital mr alpha Now let us draw the free body diagram of the block. The only force acting on it in horizontal direction is T1, and its acceleration is 2 alpha r. Therefore, T1 is equal to 2 m into alpha r. Putting the value of T1 in equation one, we get capital m g minus 4 m alpha r is equal to 3 by 2 capital m alpha r, which implies capital m g is equal to 4 m alpha r plus 3 by 2 capital m alpha r. Or alpha r is equal to capital M G divided by three capital M by two plus four M. The acceleration of the block two alpha r is equal to two capital M G divided by three capital M by two plus four M. Now the moment of inertia of the pulley about its center of mass is half capital M R square, but as per question, this value is zero point two kg meter square. Therefore, half capital M into zero point two square must be equal to zero point two. Simplifying, we get capital M is equal to 10 kg. Putting the values of capital M and M in the expression, we get acceleration of the block is equal to 2 alpha r is equal to 2 into 10 into 9.8 divided by 15 plus 4, that is 196 by 19, which when rounded to two significant figures is equal to 10 meter per second square. This is our answer. In order to request solution to any question from H C Verma book, post the question number and chapter number in comments below. Like and share the video to help other students find us. Subscribe the channel for further updates. Thank you for watching.